Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add Elementor form data to Google Sheet. So imagine this, you have generated a lead called as John from your Elementor form. You have John's name, email address and all those details. So you want to send this data of John to Google Sheet, maybe to analyze the data further or just to create a backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the data from Elementor, sort it out and manually paste it into Google Sheet. Now this process is very tiresome. So I will introduce you to the second method that you bring in some automation. So here what will happen is when a new form is submitted in Elementor, it will automatically add this data to Google Sheet. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Elementor and Google Sheet. Now this little integration can be done in very few steps. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of pabli connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in pabli connect. You can also create your own free account in just 2 minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Ok so scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now. Ok, so at the top right corner you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Elementor to Google Sheets. Elementor to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Ok, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Elementor. Ok, Elementor Website Builder. Ok, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new form submission. Ok, so new form submission is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new form submission is made, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new form submission. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new form submission is made in Elementor. Ok, so basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate Elementor to Pabli Connect. So let's have a visit to uh, our website. So as you can see, this is a form that I have built using Elementor. So to begin the integration, first of all, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So this is the form that I had built with Elementor. So I'm just uh, clicking on edit with Elementor. So the site is uh, opening up. OK, so as you can see, this is the form. OK, so I'm just going to click this OK, and scroll down. And here you will find the option called as actions after submit. So basically it is asking what action should be taken after you have submitted the form, after a respondent has submitted the form. So I'm just clicking this. Now the action should be we want to send the data through webhook. So let's make it as webhook. OK, so now an option called as webhook appears. So just click this. OK, so here you have to paste the webhook URL. Now to paste the webhook URL, let's go to Pavli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. OK, so we have entered the webhook URL. So let me just click on update. OK, so we have updated this particular form. So basically the gist is we have integrated this particular form to Pavli Connect. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to make some uh, entries in this particular form. OK, and when an entry is made, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and let me just click on this button. Capture webhook response. Click this. OK, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to this uh, form. OK, OK, so this is the form. So I'm just going to enter some data. So imagine this a person called as Aaron has entered the data. So this is the name and this is the company he works in. OK, so the first name of this guy is Aaron. The last name is Manuel. This is the email and this is the company he works in and this is the mobile. So basically we want to send all this data to Public Connect. So let me just uh, submit this form. OK, so let's click on send. 
Okay, so the form data was sent successfully. So let's have a look in Pabli Connect whether it has captured this data or not. Oh yes, the data has been captured. This is because we have integrated Elementor to Public Connect. So let me just scroll down and let's have a look. So we have the first name as Aaron, the last name is Manuel. This is the email AaronManuel1991 at gmail.com. The company is Tesla and this is the phone number. So basically now we are planning to send all this data to Google Sheets. Now to do that, all you have to do is just scroll down and click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Now in the action event, how about we make it as add new row. Okay, so add new row is an action event. Now there are many more action events like append values, update values, delete values, copy a sheet, delete a sheet, get rows, update row and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now just like the triggers, if you have a trouble finding a particular action event or if you want to build a particular action event, you can contact us at admin at the readpabric.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to add a new row in Google Sheet. Okay, so just click on connect with Google Sheet. Now before we connect with Google Sheet, your obvious question is why we have kept the action event as add new row. Now to explain you that let me take you to my google sheet so this is my google sheet it has been titled database from elementor and these are the columns i have the first name the last name email company and mobile so the idea is that the data will be appended into adjacent rows one by one first the uh, first uh, this uh, name row will be appended then the last name then the email the company and the mobile so the data will be appended into adjacent rows one by one that is why we have kept the action event as at new row it will be automatically be very clear to you just let me just uh, connect with google sheet okay so in the new credentials just again click on connect with google sheets okay so as you can see these are the series of gmail accounts i have now this uh, particular google sheet is present in this account so i'm selecting this one okay so now public connect is asking me to confirm my choice just to give access to my google sheets now before you click on allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 safe and secure with us okay so on the basis of that trust just press allow Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so as you can see in the spreadsheet, it is showing database from Elementor. And when we expand the list, we do have in the drop down a ton of list. So basically, these are all the list that is spreadsheets that is uh, present in my Google account, Gmail account. So I just want to select this particular Google sheet because I want to insert all the data into this Google sheet. Okay, database from Elementor. Elementor. So I'm selecting this one. Now in the sheet, it is showing it as sheet one. This is because there is only one sheet that is sheet one. Okay, so that is being simply reflected here, sheet one. Okay. Okay, so then we have the first name, the last name, email, company and the mobile. So basically these are all the columns that is present here. So Public Connect has uh, sorted all these columns as blanks. So basically we have to map all the details into these blanks. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. When we click this, you will find all the data that we have received from Elementor. So let's start mapping. So this uh, uh, in the first name, we are just going to map in the name that is Aaron. Then in the last name, this is the last name, Manuel. And uh, we have mapped the last name. So we are going to map the email. This is the company. So the company he works is in Tesla. And this is the mobile. So this is the mobile. Okay. So we have uh, mapped all the details. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on save and send test request to send the data to Google Sheet. So let me just do that. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have the first name, the last name, the email. So this is the email. Okay, then this is the company and this is the mobile. Excellent. So the presence of this data in Google Sheet shows that we have successfully integrated Elementor and Google Sheets with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me take you to Public Connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and minimize this trigger window. OK, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Elementor to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Google Sheets. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Elementor and Google Sheets. OK, so let's uh, make some more entries. So this time. The guy is uh, Tom Cruise and uh, the email is Tom Cruise 1234 at the rate gmail.com. The company he works is DLF and this is his phone number. So let me just click on send. Okay, so it is showing the form has been sent successfully. So let's have a look in Google Sheet. Do we have the data from Elementor? Okay, so we do have the name that is Tom, the last name is Cruz, this is the email, this is the company and this is the phone number or the mobile number. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a form submission happens in Elementor, it will be reflected as a data in Google Sheets. 
Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.